finally left uh, uh, Fillmore Quay and um, this is our second time of departure isn't it Beverly? It is, the first one was not a success. Uh, basically we have a 24 hour rule that after high winds uh, we like the sea state to settle down. I always love the sea state to settle down, it doesn't have to be after high winds, I just don't like being kicked. Well anyway, we didn't do it, we did not wait the... Push on, I just took over. It did. I really wanted to push on. I didn't say your name. Uh, okay, fair enough. Anyway, push on items prevailed and um, we went out, but the sea state was very unsettled. You mean the, we, two, the two metre swells? Yeah, we had two metre swells. Um, so obviously there's um, the sea state from the high winds that we had. But also, uh, we think that the um, St. Patrick's Bridge has something to do with it because the wind was basically pushing the water towards the bridge. And um, as you know, water doesn't compress. It so to, has to go uphill. So it has to go uphill. <laughs> so that means that um, it has to uh, create waves. And that is what we saw, wasn't it, Beverly? Absolutely, loads of them. So on top of all that, we also had a thunderstorm and... And 26 knots of wind on the nose. And, and 26 knots of wind. So at that point I said I've had enough of this and turned the boat around. <laughs> and we went back in again, didn't we? Yeah, but on the positive note, Beverly uh, produced another video. So uh, yeah. she made the best of a bad day. Yeah, so last week's video. <laughs> What you're seeing last, what you're seeing now is the week after the video I've done. Well, what you, yeah, exactly. But anyway, regardless, <laughs> we're actually four weeks ahead. So uh, we, we do timestamp them again. Right? They, they can, they can read. Yeah, there are the dates was in the corner. Oh, okay, that's true. Well, anyway. <laughs> anyway, we're just getting along at five knots at the minute, and hopefully the wind will not get any stronger than it is because uh, um, this is just about right, isn't it? Yeah, we've got one reef in the main and um, one we've and put a half. one and a half in the Genoa because what we've done is we've pulled the Genoa out as far as we can while still not being blanked by the main. Uh -huh. um, so that's what we've done and uh, we're just moseying along. job that I'm going to do only because we hardly ever reef um, on one reef I'm going to mark our halyard um, and put some markers on it so that the person uh, in the cockpit who's pulling the lower rope uh, can see where uh, the first reef is and uh, to be completely and utterly confusing I'm going to mark it with three lines. Now, do you want one or I'm thinking of three? Whatever. Because we have four at the top. have uh, decreased so we're doing about three knots with our current configuration 
Um, but uh, Yule, because we did consider going to Yule this morning. We did. Uh, but anyway, according to the chart, let me just try and get it this thing. Yeah, the estimated time of arrival is quarter past midnight. So. That's not happening. No, so what we've decided to do is we've decided we're going to go to Dunmore East to anchor. The wind, um, the wind direction is not ideal, but then again, the winds are forecast to be so light. Yeah. That we're not really that concerned, to be honest, are we? Yeah. Like even now, the winds are dying and uh, our genoa is starting to flop about a bit. Mm. So we might, um, we might reel it in just to take. Uh, to take some of the cloth in, it sounds a bit paradoxical as the wind gets uh, less, yeah, you, you the, roll the sail in, but the problem is the sail material is heavy, and if the wind can't hold the sail material up, it doesn't work as the sail. Mm. Uh, yeah, less so, material is less for the wind to do. Mm. But, um, yeah, we'll be rounding hook head in a bit. What's the other big discovery in this area? Oh, I have just seen... A pot marker with a flag! Oh my goodness! It might not be as um, posh as uh, in France where they have AIS on their uh, fishing boys. But it's just a flag, but I can tell you one thing. It's brilliant because you can't actually see the pot marker itself, you can just see the flag. Hmm. And that, that, I can see it from like half a mile away. Exactly! But the thing is, we can see the flag. Which means we can avoid the pot. And it's all good because it means the fisherman doesn't get some yacht tangled up in his lines and then cut the lines. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately uh, flags is not mandated, but I think it should. I'm told that in Waterford, which thinks the area we're in, um, it's more of a thing. Yes. Than it is in Wexford where they just use any old cans for the look of things because we yeah. see a couple of really dodgy ones. I think uh, for me, the dodgiest one is grey. Oh yeah. I have seen a couple of grey cans and I'll be honest, it just blends into the sea. And for the particularly astute among you who don't miss a thing, my hat's changed because it's got so warm now I've taken my woolly hat off and put my ceiling hat on. Yeah. You never know. We might get our sailing jackets off. Hey, oh my goodness. Oh, get your kit off. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yet again, I'm going to do the uh, sound I like. <sighs> Obviously, as soon as you've done that, turn off the ignition. But even though this is not silence, because I can hear the gulls. Um, I think they're crows, Gator. Are they crows? Obviously, uh, the gulls don't tend to go car, car, car. Yeah. I can hear the, the crows, but uh, yeah. We're in. We're in, and I think... Um, Time for a well-earned rest. Absolutely. And, and, and a cup of coffee. Oh my goodness. Didn't have one this morning. We were hustled. I was hustled out so quick. There was no time for coffee. Um, we never drink coffee underway. Um, it's always tea. Because uh, the only time that we've ever been close, I was close to seasick, you were actually sick. I, I don't know if it was seasick, but I certainly threw up over the boat and as soon as I did it was fine again, whereas people who are seasick don't tend to get better. Oh, okay, fair enough, but anyway. Yeah, they, they tend to stay green until they get on land again. Mm, whereas... Um, as soon as I hurled over the side of the boat. Uh, whereas in my particular case it was, um, I was just feeling... Um, queasy. Queasy. But... Um, we were drinking coffee out of plastic cups. Yeah, in a, in, a, in a motor cruiser with diesel engines. Yeah, and the wind was coming um, over the back. 
basically tick all the boxes that could go wrong. <laughs> yeah, so it was diesel, the wind was uh, pushing the diesel into where we were. Mm. Um, it was a flat bottom boat, so you had that lovely... And you know what they say about flat bottom boats, they'll roll on wet grass. Yeah, and uh, it was about the only time we've been slightly funny, but it was always that plastic coffee. Oh, it was probably Nescafe or something horrible. Anyway, I'm going to go and put the uh, kettle on. All right. Well, it's been a while since Beverly and I got the uh, thingy mm -hmm. out and I forgot a fundamental reason why we wear boots. My feet are now sopping. <laughs> well, we're in Dunmore East and if you can hear a squeaking noise, <laughs> it's because we've got salty sausage ready on the stir and she's raring to go. <laughs> she certainly is. It's the first outing that she's had on this trip. Mm -hmm. But the place is just lovely and uh, inviting of an explore. Indeed, we got in here last night, we dropped anchor in um, the spot that's marked as an anchorage. And we heard about the clunking and clanking in the night and we thought, what's that? And we found out this morning that we're not the only person who um, dropped anchor here because over there we've got a large Norwegian cruise liner <laughs> and there's all these little motorised boats going back and forward today, isn't there? They certainly are, as they uh, explore Dunmore East, just like we are. Yeah, and I don't blame them for it, because it's a um, lovely, lovely little spot, isn't it? Uh, there's absolutely no wind, um, so I really hate motoring, and I'm on the... We decided together, didn't we, Beverly, that we did not want to motor. No, it's not something we like doing. If we can seal, we'd much rather seal the boat. And also, Beverly was going on about push-on-itis, you know, push, push, push. Yeah, we've been pushing to get to the south coast since April the 1st up in Bangor and we've had strong southerly winds stopping us all the way down. And we've now finally got here, but we're sort of into that habit of push a little forward every day, push a little forward every day. And to a certain extent, we've hit our objective. Our objective was to get to the south coast for May and spend May on the south coast. Now, there's only about 100, 120 miles of south coast left to do. We've got an entire three weeks to do it in. Mm. It's like four miles a day. <laughs> so um, we're going to enjoy um, the south coast as much as we can. Mm -hmm. But the great thing about all this wonderful sunshine is um, we have got the batteries on float and when do the batteries go on float? Oh, the batteries were float by half ten this morning, it was wonderful. So we've now got everything in its dog plugged in, haven't we? Yeah, so one of the things that we've got plugged in is our drone. We've already charged the drone up, that's been done, and we're currently charging up the laptop through the inverter and we've got the phones and everything else on the other chargers on the 12 volt circuits. If we've got electricity, we're going to make sure everything is charged on this boat. Yeah, the boat batteries were charged by 11 o'clock this morning, so everything coming through these panels now is pure excess. Yeah, so uh, let's charge those batteries, girl. Yep, and we also now need to go into Dunmore and give it a little explore, don't we? Certainly do. So that's our task for this afternoon. I don't mind having that in the background. Well, pardon you, was that the curry? <laughs> no, that was the uh, cruise liner saying where the heck they are, because you can't even see it. So the drone flying is out. Should we just go for a walk? Absolutely. But I see the little uh, toppers and the optimists are having a heck of a time out there. Oh, they're having a great time. Can't see them much, but they've got enough visibility. But like I say, the cruise liner, it's completely vanished. <laughs> 